Now, let's say that after looking at um, your candidates, after looking at the minor parties, what they stand for, and after listening to videos such as this one, you decide, okay, actually, you know what? The minor parties are the way to go. If enough of the minor parties get the votes so they can form government, your voice will now be heard. Your rights will now be amplified. And let me explain that. I, for one, in lay law, intend to start what I call the voter retention model, which is virtually the same as the customer retention model, which is what most of you would have heard about. We will have a telemarketing company who will call all the electorate and make them aware of a phone number and an email address, and they can tell us what's going on. They can tell us their issues. They can tell us things that are happening so that we become aware of who you are and what your needs are. And this is over and above a monthly town square type model where we, I and all my um, colleagues will be going to the town hall and letting you know what we've done in the last 30 days, but also opening it up to the floor, to the electorate to tell us about what's going on in the community. In my electorate, I will be implementing the um, VRM model. Essentially, the way it'll work is you ring up or send us an email, a job will be opened with the issue that you've uh, talked to us about. The job will stay open until you come back to us and tell us that your problem has been resolved. If the problem doesn't get resolved, we will then investigate why it hasn't been resolved. Um, is it because of an issue with the government department? If that's the case, well, obviously we'll step in and do what we can to rectify that. Or is it because there's a gap in policies and in laws that doesn't allow your problem to be resolved? Well, if that is the case, then we will go back to the party room. We will discuss all these issues where there are gaps. And then with consultation between yourselves and the community, and you know ourselves, we will come up with policies that we will then take to Parliament in order to create laws that fill the gaps. Now that is real representative government, but if I or any of my colleagues in the freedom-friendly minor parties can get up and implement a, a, a model such as this, what do you think will happen to the rest of Australia? Do you think they might look at that model to that electorate and say, you know what, I want some of that? So by voting for us, one of the freedom-friendly parties who actually allow your voice to really be heard, what will occur is we will change, fundamentally change for the better democracy in Australia. This is what's at stake here. This is what's at, we're at the crossroads. We can either do that. We can either vote for the minor parties and move Australia's democracy in a better direction. Or we can allow the same old, same old to occur uh, by voting the majors in and allow them to continue to tell us what we want rather than ask us what we want. Really, what type of Australia do you want to live in? What type of Australia do you want your kids to live in? What sort of future do you want? You're smart enough to know what you want. And we, the politicians, should be listening to that. My name is Peter Meliaros and I endorse this message.